This video is sponsored by Canon. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're keeping well. Well, what a lovely morning. We've got a bit of fog. I've just come down to local garlic woodlands of mine. It's only about a quarter of an hour from home, so it's ideal. And uh, just a small patch of garlic, but it's really thick this year. And uh, I've just got to come out and try and photograph it and get some nice compositions. And as the thumbnail suggests, a bit of a printing video this. I'm going to hopefully grab one or two nice compositions quick before this fog lifts and blows away because there is a bit of a breeze this morning so uh, settings are going to be a bit tricky but we'll go into that in a minute no doubt but uh, yeah head back with some nice compositions get the uh, Canon Image Prograph Pro 300 out and uh, I've got a I've got a paper in mind Canon's fine art rough paper should suit this scene absolutely perfect it's got a lovely texture to it a thick texture to it it will bring out all these leaf textures and and the deep colours hopefully anyway so yeah we'll uh, grab a few compositions head back and get a bit of printing done dashing about trying to make the most of these conditions and the fog is just just drifting away a little bit but I've been on the wide angle I've been on the 70 to 200 I've been going low down to try and emphasize the garlic a bit more in the in the in the base of the frame to lead your eye off several compositions that I'm happy with but I've just settled on this one I've gone on the 70 to 200 obviously on the R5 manual focus now there's a bit of breeze in 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 the air and, and the garlic's just swaying about eh, a little bit and then um, some young sycamore leaves that I'll talk about in a minute in the composition they're swaying about a bit and the other leaves on the on the beech trees and that so I've gone to ISO 640 I know that the R5 will cope with the ISOs fine so that's not a problem just to I'm, I've come down to f7.1 so not quite as much depth as, depth as I would like probably f11 really but and I'm at 30th and it's just given me a nice bit of nice light it's just a nice combination I've got to try and eliminate any movement in the garlic you see with this little bit of breeze and the leaves so yeah I think 30th should capture it okay I don't really want to go any higher than an ISO 640 so I think we're getting away with it I've zoomed in on the screen and it looks all right but yeah we've got a young sycamore in the the right foreground of the image just starts your eye there and then it just leads you off into the back and as you can hear we've actually got a road just about 200 yards then there's a bit of a gap and then there's another woodland the other side of the road and that fog is dropping into that gap a bit and it's given me a lovely drop off and a lovely backdrop we've got some young trees um well some young leaf should i say on some young beach on the left hand side of the frame and then you've got a nice open area where that fog is just rolling about on the right hand side of the frame and uh, yeah quite like this on the 70 to 200 cracky the midges are coming out now but um yeah i've been dashing about getting several different compositions i have had a go at the the scene you can see behind me but there's some young trees been planted in the garlic and there's some big circles and some plastic tubes coming up so don't really want to have to edit all them out because it just won't work so yeah I've gone for this more natural natural scene this side of the footpath um, it's a shame because there is some lovely light coming onto these trees I have taken some images but um, I'll pop one or two up now but those plastic tubes are just sticking out where they've planted some young trees which is great that they've planted some young trees because they have just had a bit of a a bit of a set to taking some trees down but um, but yeah it's a shame but um, I'm still happy with this one. I say I've got several images, but um, yeah, jobs are good and absolutely brilliant. What a lovely morning, apart from the traffic noise every now and again. Just me and the birds, you can't beat it. Anyway, I'm happy with that. Let's head back home, get the uh, ImageGraph Pro 300 out. And um, I don't think I mentioned it earlier. 
I've been using Canon's professional print and layout software and it's absolutely bob on every time. What you see on the screen is what comes off the printer. But anyway, we'll go in depth when we get back home. Let's go and get some prints run off. Right, what a beautiful morning that was, just me and the birds with the odd bit of vehicle noise. But uh, God, it's such a pleasure to be out. And when I headed out and saw that there was going to be some fog, well, I was so excited. It's only a small patch of garlic in my local woodland, just in one corner really. But by getting nice and low and getting the nice an the angles right, it looks like it's a vast carpet. So uh, really made the most of it. And as it, as it goes, I spent about 10 minutes talking about that composition, looking towards the open backdrop with the, the young sycamore. And I've managed, I was so concerned about editing because I'm quite a purist and I don't like to edit or clone anything out. But you'll see in the minute, the image that I've chosen to print is actually the one that I said I wasn't going to do because of the young trees and the, the plastic tubes that come out of the garlic. But I managed to get a composition, capture a composition that only had a couple of them tubes in, right in the, in the backdrop of the frame, if you like, of the composition. So I've man they're quite soft, so I've managed to clone some garlic in and, and hide them. I don't really like cloning, but for this particular frame, which I absolutely love, I managed to clone the tubes out and I'm going to go with that frame. So without further ado, let's jump into the laptop. We'll get the print set up, get the canvas set up, overlay the image onto it, set that up and then we'll go into Canon's professional print and layout software. We'll set that up, we'll link that to the printer and away we go. Let's jump into the laptop. As you can see, here's the image that I like the best in the end. I just love the backdrop and the, the drop off, especially in this corner. A bit messy because that's where they were doing the tree felling, but it's so soft and out. And, and I think this, this line where someone's been walking or the deer have been walking or something um, is quite prominent and it just takes your eye right into there. If you can imagine walking into there and some lovely, a lot more depth on this image than the image that I was going to print. I'll pop that up now, by the way. Um, as you can see, it's just not as much depth in this image, not as, it's just a little bit flatter. So um, yeah, gone with this image in the end. Right, without further ado, let's get on printing. So I'm going to crop this to the same size as the paper. And incidentally, paper, like I said earlier, Canon's premium fine art rough. Absolutely love this paper for my woodlands. It's got a lovely texture on it, like I showed you earlier. And um, super heavy paper, 320 grams, A3 plus, so you can get 13 inch by 19 inch. And uh, 25 sheets in, in this A3 plus as well. That's fantastic. Absolutely love this paper. And you'll see why in a minute when this print comes off. I've got a sheet loaded up in the printer ready. Not printed this image off yet, by the way. You're going to see it live if you like, and I cannot wait to get it printed off. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump back into the laptop and we'll go into Photoshop. So I'm going to crop that. So let's crop that to the same size as the paper. So that's that done. Oh, incidentally, I have already been onto Canon's website and downloaded the professional print and layout software for free and uh, absolutely swear by it. I know that what's going to come off there in a minute, along with um, calibration, monitor calibration. Do that probably once every four to six months, they recommend, just to make sure that colours and everything a matching to your, to your printer. Always do the uh, calibrations every sort of four to six months on my laptop or on my on my iMac. But um, yeah, as long as your screens are calibrated, you've got. I've got so much confidence now using this professional print and layout software in conjunction with linking the laptop to the printer or my iMac to the printer. They both talk to each other and it's bang on every time. But anyway, <laughs> I'm getting excited. Look, but. Um, so that's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this image, <clears throat> I'm going to overlay it onto a white canvas and we'll make that canvas now ever so easy. So into new, and I have been doing this before, but it's gone back to standard look. So we're going to go into centimetres. We're going to go 48 centimetres by 33 centimetres. We'll create that. There's our canvas. Let's just hit that. We'll take that out a bit. And now because I'm just going to drag the image down scroll it across and because it's still a PSD file, it's still massive. It's only looked 16% at that. So we'll drag that onto the canvas. I'll have to zoom out a bit. Let's drag that on. It should be on in a minute. There we are. Look, it's absolutely ginormous for the canvas. Command T to get the transform box up. We'll reduce that down a bit. Let's reduce that down a little bit more. Just a little bit of guesswork for now. We'll drag that onto there. I've already got, let's just hit enter. We'll bring that in a bit. 
come on laptop i'm doing a screen screen record you can tell because it's ever so slow look but uh so there's the white border quite happy with that white border actually as it is let's just take it down a little bit more you know if i wanted to sign it or anything or number it as a limited edition print i could do i've got if we go into view i've got snap ticked so it will snap horizontal and it will snap vertical so it will centralize the image nicely that's fine now what i'm going to do i'm also going to put just a tiny black stroke around the inside of the image and we'll, i'll show you how i do that now it just brings out the dark tones i find just splits you've still got the white border but it just splits the image from the white canvas so we'll go into layer layer style into stroke and it's probably already set up yeah there it is because this is the one i use so it's five pixels wide and it's on the inside look, so it's on the inside of the image. Let's hit OK, and I think that just finishes it off. It just, I don't know, just it takes my eye to all the dark tones as well as the light tones, so it just separates the two with that little black that back stroke. So let's flatten that layer. We'll flatten that layer, and now I'm happy that that is ready to go to print. So what we'll do now, we'll go into File, Automate, that's where my professional print and layout software has been downloaded to. So we'll hit that and it should in a moment, because I'm doing a screen record, it slowed the laptop down a bit. Look, there we are. And it's opened it. Perfect. Ready to go. Because I've used this in the past for, look, I've already been printing on A3+. Plus, um, so, you know, obviously fine art, rough look. I've been doing some woodland scenes. But um, that's all set up. Now, very important. The printer is the Pro 300. We're telling it that. We're telling it that it's got fine art rough, A3+, plus manual feed. Let's scroll down, highest quality. Now, I've got my alignment centred, and then, as you can see, it's already centred and already ready to go. So that's perfect. That's all OK. And now, this is the important thing. The ICC profile is set to premium fine art rough. And if we just go into there, look, there's all the profiles for all the different Canon papers, and that's vitally important. So we'll choose that, perceptual, and that's about the lot. So we'll do that. Now, if, we're, if I'm happy with them colours, I'm happy as they are, but I'll just show you. In the colour settings, look, we can alter all the brightness. Let's just remember that that's at 12, look, so I can alter the brightness. You know, I could almost make it look foggier than it actually, actually was, you know, but I don't like to cheat, so let's take that back down to 12, so that's right. The contrast, you can alter that look to bring, bring things out. Whoa, miles too much. What was it? Minus three, wasn't it? So we'll leave it at minus three. Let's just have a look. While I'm in it, I might just give it a little bit of... Just a little bit. I want it to be still quite soft, so I'm going to take it a bit soft. Let's take it at minus one. You know, it just shows you... And then obviously here's the yellow. These are all at zero, look, so we won't forget that. But if I want to give it more yellow, two yellow, that is. If I want to take the yellow out, you know, I could make it more of a, a flat sort of denser, foggier day but let's just leave it, let's just take it back to zero. I mean, I'm happy, I'm happy with my settings at that, really. Again, magenta's look, you can give it some reds or minus, we'll leave that at zero, so that's fine. Let's just play with the cyan's look. Again, add into the greens or the, the magentas, we'll leave that at zero. I'm happy with the colours, the way they are, and the brightness and contrast, we'll say we have just altered that a bit. Let's just have a look at the brightness, take it down a bit. Should we take it up a bit, give it a bit more of a foggy? foggier see I'm losing that area there now and I don't want to lose that totally so we'll take that back down to 12 I was happy this is just to show you what you can do and whatever you alter in here is what's going to come off the printer so I'm happy with that I'm happy with the alignment everything's super duper again you can play with all the, the different levels here if we wanted to on on your channels but we'll leave it in RGB there's so much that you can do on here but I'm happy with that totally happy with that so without further ado let's hit print. Right, we're off and running and it won't be long before this is printed. The speed and the accuracy of this Pro 300 is second to none. Absolutely love it. But I just want to tell you a bit more about this paper. Now it's high resolution fine art paper and it enables excellent expression of deep blacks. It should bring out the, the barks and the colours on them trees just nice and the shadows in amongst the garlic should bring that out as well. It's got fine gradation and a rich colour content so it'll really take on the colours and the inks and it should this print should pop at me hopefully 
but um, it's suitable for both colour and grayscale photos and makes for an impressive finished product. You wait till you see this. I mean, my, my previous woodland uh, prints, absolutely love them. And along with this professional print and layout software, absolutely second to none. But uh, yeah, it's rough textured matte. It's 100% cotton. It's an optical brightener free, acid free and lignin free. But uh, I absolutely love this paper for my woodlands. And uh, yeah, and it's such a super, I'll, I'll get another, get another sheet out now while this is printing. And um, God, it's looking good. It's looking good. But uh, I'll just show you. You'll probably be able to hear the quality. If I, you can hear. Hopefully you can hear that in the microphone, but it's a lovely thick paper. Really is good quality. That is just not going to ripple or distort or anything in a frame. And uh, you get that mounted nicely on a, on a cardboard mount. And uh, oh, it's just a lovely paper that is for bringing out the textures. It really is super paper. But um, anyway, oh, we're looking good. Oh, absolutely brilliant. I wish the garlic would last longer than it does, only about two weeks. I mean, when I was there this morning, there was some petals already falling off. I don't know if you noticed in some of the close-up shots that I did, some of the, the B-roll when they were swaying in the wind, there were some petals already falling off and settling on the leaves. So it won't be long before, before the, the garlic's gone again for another year. But I'm just so pleased that I had a bit of fog this morning. Absolutely fantastic conditions and certainly made the most of it before that road got too busy anyway. But um, anyway, this is looking absolutely superb. Another couple of minutes and it'll be off. Here we go, all done. Absolutely superb. How about that? <laughs> Absolutely perfect. And you can see, I don't know if it's... Now these, these lights, incidentally, are set at the right, is it 5,800 Kelvins for daylight, if you like? I try and get my lights set, quite important. Should have brought that up earlier to get the lighting set. Crikey, when you're ready, <laughs> when you're quite finished, printer. Yeah, it's important to get the lighting set. Now these are set to the right Kelvins, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, 5,800, I can't remember now, but for daylight, so that's just about what you would see in daylight. That's what I always use. I always have my lights set to that, to the right Kelvins, but um, absolutely chuffed to bits with that. How about that? Absolutely fantastic. And let's just have a look at it, a close look at it. Yeah, the detail in the garlic is apps and you can actually see a few petals that have fallen onto the leaves like I was saying earlier but absolutely fantastic absolutely chuffed to bits with that brilliant well there we are guys how about that get that framed get that on the wall might print off another couple of garlic images and uh, just to remember my morning, but it's so important, since I've started printing again, so important to finish the photography process. Crikey printer, when, you, when you've done. <laughs> but uh, to hold your work, I mean, I've said in previous videos, it's okay taking thousands of thousands of images of whatever you're, you're into, whatever your subject is, and then just putting them on a hard drive and just leaving them, and you never look at them again. Whereas now I can put that on the wall and that's, that's a memory for me, a superb morning, lovely conditions, and I've finished the photography process. And listen at this, got my work in print and it's gonna go on the wall with tremendous pride. And ah, oh, absolutely fantastic. And it's all thanks to the Canon Image ProGraph Pro 300 printer, along with the software, the Canon professional print and layout software. You get prints like this off the printer, first time, every time, absolutely spot on. And uh, yeah, I'd just like to say thanks to Canon for sponsoring this video. And uh, the support from Canon is absolutely fantastic. I'll put all the details for the printer and the various papers uh, in the description below for you to, to look at all the various links and um, yeah, the, the, the Canon support is second to none. 
give me a shout if you need any any if you've got any questions that you need answering. If I can't answer them, I'll ask the guys at Canon. They'll quickly get back to me and I can give you answers that you want. And uh, yeah, they say the, the support that I get and what I know thousands of us photographers get from Canon is second to none. So yeah, how about that? Grinning like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Well, look forward to your comments, guys. Leave any comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm gonna go and get this frame now. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Catch up soon. Ooh, ooh.